Hey guys, welcome back to this new video. In this case, I will be helping you to configure and also download this amazing game that you will have on the title of this video. In this case, I will be teaching you how to configure it and also install the emulator and that in this case will be using Jusu to make sure that the setup is totally completed without any issues. So, the first step will be install the Jusu emulator for the reason we have to go to google.com and just charge Jusu. On the first the first link that you will be find you have to go to the download part. Here you have to press download for Windows and just save the information. In this case I will be saving that on my desktop. If you don't have the micro visual C plus plus 2022, you have also to download on the same page that you used to have here. You only have to press here. So after the download is completed, we have to install you. So in this case, we have this installer app. You will only have to press double click and wait until the installer launch. So in this case, since I already have the Yuzu installed, I will be doing something different. But in this case, when Yuzu will be installing, you only have to press install. I will be press update, same as I have Yuzu already installed. And then we only have to go to exit when the Yuzu is totally installed on your system. So the next step will be using the additional file that you will find on the first comment pin and then after extract the additional file you will have the keys and the firmware so in this case we have to install these two files on the Yuzu installation process to make sure that will be it's working for the reason we have to go to Yuzu and open it open Yuzu after Yuzu is open we have to go to the key folder and copy the two files that we have here and then go to back to Yuzu and on the file tab we have to go to open Yuzu folder and then go to keys then we have to paste the information that we have <coughs> copied and that will be all on that part we have the keys installed for the reason the next step will be inside the freeware for the reason you have to follow the following instruction in this case the full structure will be go to the firmware folder we have to select all the files that we have here and then copy and go back to the Yuzu app and go again to file and open Yuzu folder then we have to go to the folder none them to the folder system, them to the folder contents, and the last one is the register one. After that, we have to paste all the information here. It will be asking you to replace all the files, present the first option, replace in the files in the destination. And after the files are replaced, we have our framework installed on the Jusu emulator. So the next step will be add the games. In this case, to add the games, we have to press here a new game directory and then select where you guys are located. In my case, I have the games on my CCD and on the switch folder select for it and then your games will be loaded here on this part of the user after that we have to install the updates and also the dlc that you also have for the reason we have to go file and then install file to nand and search where is the dlc or update in this case the update, the update that i have mario kart 8 the loads it's here only have to press and then open i will be asking you to install and then press install wait a few seconds while the installation is in process in this case i have this update so it will take a few seconds after the update it's completed Okay, and there you are, I have my file updated, you can see on my Mario Kart that will be update 3.0. And 
also the DLC will be the same method. So after you do that all this process, the next step will be configure the emulator. For that reason, we have to go to the emulation tab and then to configure. In this part of the emulator, we have some options. We will be focusing on the system one. Uh, here we have to choose the preferred language that you have to game your video games. In this case, I prefer to use Latin American and Spanish or region. You can use your region. I prefer to use USA. And here on the core part of the configuration, make sure that the multi CPU emulation is turned off and also the memory layout is on default. Then you can select the profiles. I have these two profiles where I can use to gain and also to make some benchmark emulation for the video games. So the next one will be go to the CPU part and accuracy we left on automatic. Then go to graphics and here we have some important configuration so make sure to pay attention that is basically the most part the best important part of the configuration. So on API and if you have a good graphics card like an NVIDIA or an ND card, you have to use Vulkan and then on the right select your graphics card. If you have a not good graphics card or a good or, uh, old NVIDIA graphics card, you have to use OpenGL as API. In this case, I have a recent graphics card that is the NVIDIA. I will be using Vulkan and also select my graphics card. On graphic settings, we have to use use Dix people and cache, use asynchronous GPU emulation, and the coding method. We have to use GPU and VSync. This is not really important to the process, so I recommend to turn off to have better performance on the emulation. And also in emulation, you ha we have to use GPU video decoding. In full screen mode, I recommend to use borderless or windowed. Sometimes it will be more easy to change the screen, but if you have prefer to have more FPS, it will be if you like two or one FPS more, you can use exclusive pro screen. And then an aspect radio, I recommend to use default, but if you have a wide screen, you can try to use extract to the window. Then on resolution, that is an important part of the emulation. If you have a good graphics card, you can try to use different resolution of the configuration to have better graphics, but the performance will be down with this configuration. Since I have a really medium graphic cards, I will be using 2X. I recommend if you don't have a really good graphics card to use 1X or trade with these lower resolutions. After that, in Windows Adaptive Filter, I recommend to use Fidelity Super Resolution and also in anti-lessing method to use FXIA and effort sharpness use 80%. And then on the basing option, on the accuracy level, we have to set on high and atrophic filtering. I prefer if you have a good computer, you can try to use default or automatic, but if you have a really good graphics card, you can try to use the highest one. And recompression method, I recommend to use uncompressed to best quality. If you have issues with this, you can try to low quality or medium quality. You can try and see what is work better for you. And also, and the last one, Enable asynchronous presentation and frozen maximum clocks only if you have the Vulkan API active. You can try to use this one to get better performance. Also, enable erratic flushing and use asynchronous shallow building hack and use of fast GPU time. Also, if you have an API, <coughs> sorry, if you have the Vulkan API active, you can also try to use Vulkan Vulkan People Cache and variant feedback loops. In audio, you can try to use everything on auto and auto and sound auto both. I use to recommend some round to get better performance, but you can try to use stereo or mono. And final and control, you will want to be 
configuring your control in this case i always prefer to use apple to apple controller with with your device in this case i'm using an, an xbox one controller for the reason on my controller is coordinated and also used to be make sure that it's using the correct layout of my controller as you can see the connection is working it's only to select the device and then try to use the controller to verify what is the information that is asking you on this part of the video also after that we only have to press ok and then run our game so in this case i will be ruining the mario kart 8 deluxe for so just give me a couple seconds i will be launching it to make sure that is working without any issues in this case, they're getting launched on full screen, so it's the default configuration that I have here. And there you are, we have here the Mario Kart 8 downloads. To be running without any issues. So okay, it's asking me you to select a me, so I miss this account, do not have any account created before. Okay, we we'll have to choose the first one, and that would be all. As you can see, the game is totally working without any issues on YouTube, and also all the links or all the information will be on the first comment page that they'll be able to select the information and get the correct information to access to this game. For the moment, that will be all. If you have any dupe questions, you can leave on the comment section and I will be more than happy to help you to resolve it. So, thank you for watching the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.